In recent years, the idea that our universe might be a simulation has gained popularity not just in science fiction, but also in serious scientific and philosophical discussions. With the release of movies like The Matrix, which depicts a world where humans are unwittingly trapped in a computer-generated illusion, the simulation hypothesis has entered mainstream consciousness. Strikingly, however, the idea that reality is an illusion is not new. It is deeply rooted in ancient Hindu philosophy, particularly in the concepts of Maya and the teachings of sage Ashtavakra. Modern scientists are now finding intriguing parallels between these age-old philosophies and cutting-edge theories in physics and digital reality. The Matrix, released in 1999, captivated audiences with its depiction of a world where people live in a simulation, oblivious to the fact that their entire reality is a computer program. The protagonist, Neo, awakens to this truth and fights to free humanity from its digital prison. While The Matrix popularized this idea in popular culture, the simulation hypothesis has been taken seriously by several renowned scientists and philosophers. One of the most prominent proponents of the simulation hypothesis is philosopher Nick Bostrom, who posited that it is quite likely that we are living in a computer simulation created by an advanced civilization. According to this hypothesis, our universe with its laws of physics and physical matter might be akin to an elaborate computer code running on a cosmic mainframe. In this view, everything we perceive, the trees, the sky, our bodies and even our thoughts, might be nothing more than lines of code generated and manipulated by some unknown architect. This concept sounds eerily similar to ancient Hindu teachings, which have long asserted that the material world is an illusion. The Sanskrit word for this illusion is Maya, a central tenet in Hinduism that points to the idea that the world we experience through our senses is not the ultimate reality. The Hindu concept of Maya dates back thousands of years and is discussed extensively in sacred texts such as the Vedas and Upanishads. According to these scriptures, Maya is the veil of illusion that keeps individuals from perceiving the ultimate truth, or Brahman, the unchanging and infinite consciousness underlying all existence. Essentially, Maya refers to the deceptive appearance of the world, which misleads humans into believing in the reality of physical matter and material experiences. The ancient sages of India often compared life to a dream where everything feels real while we are experiencing it. But once we awaken, we realize that it was just an illusion. The Bhagavad Gita also addresses this idea, suggesting that the soul is eternal and that what we perceive with our senses is merely a temporary manifestation. Modern physicists have found fascinating parallels between this ancient belief and the concept of a simulated universe. The notion that our senses deceive us and that reality might be composed of underlying imperceptible patterns aligns well with discoveries in quantum mechanics. The behavior of atoms and subatomic particles often defies common sense, reinforcing the idea that our perceptions may not fully capture the true nature of reality. One of the most enlightening sages in Hindu philosophy is Ashtavakra whose teachings on the nature of reality and consciousness are recorded in the Ashtavakra Gita. Ashtavakra's teachings emphasize that the self, or consciousness, is distinct from the body and mind. He repeatedly asserts that the individual self is pure awareness and that what we perceive as reality is merely a projection of our consciousness. Ashtavakra's philosophy encourages self-inquiry and the realization that the external world is like a mirage. In his teachings he says, you are not the body, nor is the body yours. You are not the doer, nor the enjoyer. You are pure consciousness, the witness of all things. This idea resonates with the simulation hypothesis, which similarly challenges our understanding of consciousness and reality. If we are living in a simulated world, then our sense of self might be akin to a consciousness that exists independently of the simulation. Furthermore, Ashtavakra's emphasis on pure awareness mirrors the idea that consciousness could be a fundamental, non-physical aspect of reality. 
Modern scientists like physicist David Chalmers have proposed the hard problem of consciousness, questioning how and why subjective experience arises from physical processes. This leads to a provocative question. Could consciousness exist outside a simulated universe as an entity observing and experiencing the simulation? Another fascinating convergence between modern science and ancient philosophy lies in the idea that the universe is composed of tiny, discrete units. In digital simulations, everything is made up of pixels, the smallest units of a digital image. Similarly, modern physics tells us that our universe is made up of atoms and subatomic particles, the building blocks of matter. If we dig deeper, however, even atoms are not solid. They are composed of smaller particles like electrons, protons and neutrons, which in turn are made up of even more fundamental entities such as quarks. In the digital world, pixels combine to create images on a screen, and computer code dictates how these pixels behave. If the universe is a simulation, then atoms might be the physical equivalent of pixels, the smallest units that make up everything we see. The rules of quantum mechanics, which govern how these particles behave, could be akin to the programming code of the universe. Interestingly, quantum mechanics introduces concepts that are difficult to reconcile with classical physics, such as particles existing in multiple states simultaneously until observed, a phenomenon known as quantum superposition. These peculiar behaviors suggest that reality might not be as solid or consistent as it seems. The ancient idea of Maya aligns with this understanding. If the universe is a simulation, then the solidity and continuity of matter could be mere illusions, constructed to create a cohesive experience for conscious beings. From this perspective, both atoms and pixels are essential elements that make up the perceived reality, governed by a set of underlying rules that we are only beginning to comprehend. One of the most intriguing questions that arise from the simulation hypothesis is the role of consciousness. In quantum mechanics, the observer effect describes how the act of observation can change the behavior of particles. For instance, in the famous double slit experiment, particles behave differently when they are observed as if reality is altered by the act of perception itself. This aligns well with Ashtavakra's teachings, which stress the idea that consciousness plays a crucial role in shaping reality. If the universe is indeed a simulation, then consciousness could be the key to understanding its true nature. Are we, as conscious beings, merely characters in a game, or do we have the power to shape the simulation in meaningful ways? Some scientists and spiritual thinkers suggest that our thoughts and intentions could influence reality, just as a player's actions affect a video game environment. In Hindu philosophy, this idea is not new, the notion of sankalpa, or intention, is considered a powerful force that can shape one's destiny. Similarly, the concept of karma implies that our actions and intentions have a direct impact on our experience of reality, a notion that resonates with the idea of being active participants in a simulated universe. While the simulation hypothesis remains speculative, it has opened up fascinating avenues for exploring the nature of reality. Ancient Hindu philosophy, with its profound insights into Maya, consciousness, and the illusion of the material world, provides a rich framework for understanding these modern scientific theories. Ashtavakra's teachings, which emphasize the distinction between pure awareness and the illusion of the material world, seem more relevant than ever. Whether we live in a simulation or not, the idea forces us to confront fundamental questions about existence, consciousness, and the nature of reality. In this sense, both ancient wisdom and modern science invite us to look beyond appearances and seek the deeper truths that govern our universe. As Neo learns in The Matrix, understanding the illusory nature of reality can be both liberating and transformative, an idea that has echoed through the corridors of ancient Indian thought for millennia.